Okay, I got Artenome Selection 1123. And it's another amazing tequila coming out of Cascahuin. Now this is Historico Blanco. And the reason for that name is because they do this traditionally back in the way, you know, back in the, in the ways they did before in the 1900s. So what they did back then, you know, before there was the whole, you know, bricks levels and los altos and so on and so, you know, they would have their blancos and they would rest it in wood. You know, they would use, you know, either French oak or American oak. Sometimes they would even use brandy barrels and they would let their blanco rest there and it would be like a special treat. So what they wanted to do with that was bring it back to those old school days, like I said, in the early 1900s. And that's why this is called, you know, Blanco Historico. So anyways, what they did with this tequila, I believe they got these barrels, uh, you know, from Oaxaca, it's Don Amados Mezcal. So they bring them in wet. You know, as soon as they get emptied out, they bring them in wet and they put the cascajón juice inside of it. They let it rest for 28 days. You know, they don't chip it. They don't char it or anything like that because, you know, they believe sometimes it takes away a little bit of the characteristics. So this is kind of like a blanco you know, with a little bit of characteristics of a mezcal. So I thought, you know, that's a pretty good idea. This is totally, you know, legal, totally legit. You know, this is all, of course, Mexican laws and everything. So, of course, that's going to have an impact on the aromas, you know, the flavors. And it even has an impact on the color. You know, I don't know if you guys can see that in camera or not, but this is a little bit tinted yellow. I've seen some of the batches that are a little bit more clear than this, but you can tell it's not 100% clear. So don't be discouraged if you find a bottle that is not as tinted as this one. It's actually the second bottle that I purchased. It's a 375 mil. The first one was a 750 mil. You know, I had it with some family members and my wife, and we totally enjoyed it. You know, unfortunately, I didn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to. I didn't have my glass cups. You know, it was a cheap red party cups, but even though it was still a great taste, so I definitely said I had to pick up another one, do a review, and actually be able to, you know, really enjoy the flavors and the aromas that the tequila has to offer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little glass, but you guys can see a little bit of the color a little better in here. The nice thing about these bottles too, is the 370, uh, 375 mil, is that if you don't like the tequila, you're not stuck with a large bottle with a lot of tequila that's crap. And if you do like it, you can always come back and purchase more. So at least you're paying about, you know, half the price at that point. So let's check it out. As you guys can see there, it's a little bit tinted yellow, like a little bit of a strong yellow. And like I said, some of them are gonna be a little more clear. Now this tequila has really nice aromas. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting aromas of agave. Also get like a little bit of cinnamon wood. And getting some smoke, some herbal like some herbal uh, aromas, orange, lemon. So you can say it's a little bit citrusy. You know, peppers, like black pepper, and mineral. So that's some of the aromas that I'm picking up from this. And like I said, of course, a lot of that's gonna be influenced by, you know, the mezcal. But I think what they did here was, you know, something great. It just gives you more variety. You know, it's completely different. And I think that's something that some distilleries are starting to do. You know, I got another tequila um, that I did a review on, and that is the Montagave Blanco, which is also from Cascajuin, where they let it rest. I think, you know, some of them were like, I think, you know, 29 days, 58 days, 46 days, or something like that, and, you know, Burdock's France Barrels. So, you know, it's a little bit different, but, you know, it, it definitely gives it a little bit of spice, a little bit of flavor. You know, something, you know, something definitely to try. I just recommended this to a friend of mine. You know, I told him this, this is basically, you can say this is kind of also like a very light reposado. If you don't believe that, you know, if you haven't watched my review or you can try the tequila for yourself, it's the Don Vicente Reposado. If you take a look at that tequila, it's almost, you know, like a Blanco clear. 
you know, it's actually a little bit lighter than this. It's lighter than this tequila. I think that one was rested, uh, I think a couple of months, if I remember correctly, it was around that time. Um, and I said, it's, it's, a, it's like a Blanco with flavor. You know, that's what I believe I said in that review. It's like a Blanco with flavor, you know, it's a Reposado, of course, legitimately. And that's coming out of uh, El Pantillo. But, you know, as clear as it is and the aromas and how much agave you get and everything, you know, and then you compare this, you know, you get the, all the agave, but you also get some of those flavors. So, you know, if you were to pour this into like a reposado bottle and somebody knows, like, hey, try this out, I can pretty much guarantee that they would believe this was a really light rested reposado especially considering the, the very light tint color and the flavors. So, but like I said, this is a Blanco, legitimately, you know. Rested in it for 28 days. It's a very you know, aromatic tequila. Now let's get down to, you know, some of the flavors. Wow, and as, as you let it breathe, I mean, you just really smell the minerals, the citrus, you know, spice, the smoke, herbal. I mean, it's it's a, it's a really nice tequila. So you just get like super light heat. You get that agave. You get all the flavors and the aromas that I named. You get all of that here. Maybe except the cinnamon. I'm not getting really much of the cinnamon on the on the taste, but you do get it on the uh, on the aromas. And I would say, you know, it's a little bit um, like it's a little bit silky. It's not like super creamy or anything. You can say it's a little bit buttery, you know, but it's a good tequila. I'd recommend it if you're, you're looking for a Blanco with some character, with some flavor. You know, if you're not into the smoke and, you know, some of these other, like, herbal or you know, minerals, this might not be the tequila for you, but, you know, this is a very good tequila. I'll definitely give this tequila, I would say, 89 on tequila matchmaker you know and that's pretty high you know um i think it's good i think it's enjoyable easy to drink so you know, thank you very much salute